Welcome to Eternal Mena, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. Today we are going to look at Psalm 39. <laughs> and interestingly, one of the titles given to this psalm, it's called a funeral psalm. Now, funerals are a reality of life. They are actually a vital part of life. You have attended a lot of funerals and uh, the funeral could have been someone very, very near to you, like what I experienced a year ago. And uh, funerals are very painful times. Uh, funerals are times when your heart is just ripped open and you deeply feel pain. So Psalm 39 is a funeral psalm. And I'm going to read uh, verse 1 where the psalmist says, I said, I will watch my ways and keep my tongue. I will put a muzzle on my mouth while in the presence of the wicked. Again, the psalmist is very conscious of the presence of the wicked. They are all around him. They are numerous. They are vocal. They are deceptive. They are subtle. They are cruel. We learned all that in the previous psalm. And the psalmist says that he's going to make a twofold resolution. Very similar to the D&D &D that we looked at earlier, deaf and dumb. I will watch my ways. The psalmist says the first resolution is, I'm going to watch where I'm walking, where I'm going. I'm going to keep my eyes wide open. I'm going to be cautious. I'm going to remember the covenant that I made with my God work circum, uh, to walk circumspectly. Uh, I think Spurgeon said, unguarded ways are unholy ones. I'm going to watch where I'm going to walk, where I'm going to go, the people that I'm going to associate with. I'm going to Keep a careful tab on it. And then uh, the psalmist says, I'm going to keep my tongue from sin. Oh, the tongue. How easily we sin with our tongue. And uh, David says, I will put a muzzle on my mouth. Now, all of you have seen dogs with a muzzle. And the whole purpose of the muzzle is that the mouth of the dog is uh, guarded so that it can't bite anyone. It's kind of a sad sight to see a dog with a muzzle in the mouth, but uh, it reminds us, we literally need to put a muzzle over our mouth. Not to speak amiss, either to offend God or to offend the generation of the righteous. Psalm 73, 15, a double offense. To uh, offend God, and to offend the people of God. James 3, we are told, if any offend not in word, the same is a perfect man, a mature man. He's a godly man, woman, who does not offend in word. Now, why is it that we have to be so careful with our words in the presence of the wicked? Because the wicked can uh, misunderstand and misuse the words that we speak. So uh, David says, I'm uh, going to be very careful because I don't want the wicked to be hardened in their sin or to give an occasion for them to blaspheme God because of the words that I speak. So verse 2, so I remained utterly silent, not even saying anything good. Now that's interesting. David says, uh, he's going to practice uh, silence is golden principle, utterly silent. Not a word is going to come out of my mouth. Greater the provocation, the greater and more praiseworthy his silence. But he's saying that he won't even say anything good. Why is that? Because in the presence of the wicked, even the good that he speaks can be twisted and turned against the psalms. And uh, that's why uh, uh, we are told, uh, 
In wisdom, he refrained from good discourse when the wicked was before him because he would not cast pearls before the swine. So he was very wise in not speaking, remaining quiet, and that's a grace which only God can give us. Whatever communication that we have should be eventually for the good of people and for edifying people. But when the wicked are present, <laughs> we have to keep a double check on our tongue. So may God give us grace to uh, be deaf and dumb and to keep our eyes very, very uh, vigilant, wide open, that we walk in the ways of the Lord. The Lord bless you and grant you a wonderful weekend. And God willing, we will see you again next Monday as we continue to look at the funeral psalm, Psalm 39. God bless you. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.